Hey everyone, this is Daily Dose of Medicine. In this video, we will talk about pyogenic granuloma, symptoms, causes, and treatment. These are also known as lobular capillary hemangioma, and they are a common type of non-cancerous skin growth that appears as small, red, and sometimes bleeding bump on the skin. Let's talk about the causes. The exact cause is unknown, but it often develops in response to injury or irritation to the skin, such as a bug bite, cut, or scratch. Hormonal changes during pregnancy can also increase the risk of developing pyogenic granulomas. The symptoms include a small, round, or oval-shaped bump that is red, pink, or purple in color, and may have a smooth or rough surface. The bump may be painful or tender to the touch and can bleed easily. Bleeding is important in pyogenic granuloma. It most commonly appears on the hands, fingers, face, or the mouth. For treatments, we have different options such as surgical removal, laser therapy, and electrocautery. In some cases, topical or oral medications may also be prescribed. Your doctor may recommend a specific treatment based on the size, location, and severity of the pyogenic granuloma. If you have a pyogenic granuloma, it's important to have it evaluated by dermatologists to determine the best treatment option for you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to watch our What is Frunkel and Keratoacantoma videos. These videos are popular. You should watch them. And comment down below the differences between furuncle and pyogenic granuloma. See you on the next one.